This is Daniel Kravitz, chosen one. Daniel is the man tapped to stand up against the ultimate evil and save the world. You're welcome. I did save the world, and I died for my trouble. His girlfriend, when he was alive, Abby Reynolds, runs the ULP, the organization tasked with mentoring the Chosen One and keeping the peace with non-humans. I will kill every monster in existence, especially Callie, the ultimate evil. Abby is aided by her best friend, a Garou named Grezit the Green. Garous are not monsters! You wouldn't kill me, would you, Abby Reynolds? Of course not, Grezit. Most battle-capable non-humans were wiped out in a fight with Daniel Kravitz, but Daniel's former mentor, Alexis Augustus Armentrout, strives to protect the ones left. They have done nothing wrong. They just want to live their lives in peace. Daniel's other former mentor, Rufus Reginald Rochester, quit the ULP and reopened Kravitz Antiques in Brightside, Ohio. It seems a fitting tribute to Daniel, who is the last chosen one I will fail. Rufus is joined by Stephanie Garcia, a former ULP trainee who wants him to start a rival group. If the ULP won't do its job, somebody has to. In the afterlife, Daniel is accompanied by Rufus's deceased sister, Rosalind Roger Rochester, who has promised to help him find his way back to the land of the living. I have unfinished business to complete, and two may cross back together. What does fate have in store for them all? We'll find out in Daniel Kravitz, Chosen One! Headquarters of the ULP. Who did it? Did what, Abby Reynolds? Let the prisoner go. No, it was not I, Abby Reynolds. Oh, of course not, Grezit. Who was it, though? The uh, security camera. Don't the... show anything. <laughs> Somebody tampered with the system. Was it medical tampering? Uh, because the... No, not magic. <laughs> The old-fashioned way. They went into the office and shut them off. All night. But only you, Missy, and, and Abby even have keys. <sighs> if it was that easy to figure it out, don't you think I'd have already punished the perpetrator instead of calling this meeting? Uh, I will punish them for you, Abby Reynolds, uh, once you figure out who uh, betrayed you. Alfredo, can you cast a spell to see who entered the office? Uh, I am afr uh, afraid not, Abby. Uh, we could implement a trip spell in case uh, there is a next time. But, but you can't help me this time? Uh, no, I, I am sorry. 
we couldn't interrogate the troops. Obviously. My soldiers are most fierce, but I do not believe many capable of sneaking into a security office for which they do not have a key. They have chosen one powers, maybe? Uh, none of the chosen one powers involve picking luck, do they? N- not that I know of, but... This is top priority. I want the rat found by the end of the day, and I don't care how you do it. I'm putting all of you on this. Of course, Miss Reynolds. Whatever you need. Hmm, wait. Where is Jeline? She's on a mission for me. What kind of mission? That's need to know. Is there any possibility she is the one who... Uh... No! She I trust completely. Oh, but you don't trust us. If I didn't trust you, I wouldn't have tasked you with finding the miscreant, would I? Uh, no, you would not, Abby Reynolds. Get out there and catch the guilty one, now! <clears throat> right away, Miss Reynolds. <laughs> Misty, stay a moment. Resident Alfredo, exit. <clears throat> uh, what, what can I do for you, Miss Reynolds? Investigate Gresit and Alfredo. Y- you, Quietly. You think one of them could have... Of course not, but I'm not taking any chances. I'll get right on it, Miss Reynolds. Some distance away in a small hovel. Hello? Zagor, it's me. I I just want to talk. Zagor isn't here. Jeline? Alex? Alexis. I remember. What are you doing here? The same thing you are, apparently. What do you want with Zagor? He won't work with you. He just... Work with me? I don't work with monsters. You're half non-human yourself. I am not like them. Oh, did I touch a nerve? I am dedicated to the cause of the ULP. Not its true cause, obviously. Its true cause is to rid the world of monster scum. You can't cut out half of your own body. I don't need to. My other half is more than enough to prove my worth. And you don't think the rest of you deserve some chance at redemption? I had no say in my parentage. Neither did any other non-human, partial or full. You bore me. Move. How did you find Zagor? We have our ways, as you may remember. And yet you came alone. I'm more than enough myself. I would have thought Abby would send Gresit with you at least. (laughs) That pathetic sap. Easier to handle things on my own. Oh, you and Gresit aren't getting along. None of your business. Move! You're blocking the door. I want to leave. Hmm, So Abby told you not to hurt me. Abby told me not to kill you. Yet. Is that what you did to Zagor? Kill him? My mission is done. I'm going now. You're not waiting for him to return. That wasn't my order. I see a bit of blood by the bedroom door. I think you already killed him, or you wouldn't be leaving. I don't care what you think. Move it, or I'll break some bones. Your choice. Fine. Run back to your master. Jolene roughly strides past Alexis, nearly knocking him over as she goes. He watches her to make sure she's actually left before heading to the bedroom. Unfortunately, the sight within is not pretty. It takes Alexis several minutes to settle his stomach, but when he does... He notices the body on the floor is partially decayed. Jolene didn't do this. Then who? That evening. Miss Reynolds? What did you find, Misty? Uh, Nothing that proves Alfredo or Gresit let the prisoner go. Well, good. I was hoping it wasn't them. I, I didn't say it wasn't them. Just that I didn't find any proof. Did you find anything? Oh, yes. Uh, Gresit is definitely keeping secrets. Actually, they both are. I know. Tell me what you found. Well, Gresit sneaks out regularly. (laughs) Apparently, he has a boyfriend in town. I already knew that. What else? Don't you think that's a security risk? I already looked into the boyfriend, didn't find anything to worry about. Uh, I could do a deeper dive if you like. No. Actually, yes. Go ahead. Certainly wouldn't hurt. And Alfredo? Mm, He's a tougher nut to crack. I can't even access his office. He works on highly sensitive things. He should have tight security. (laughs) Right, of of course. But a lot of staff have noticed he's spent more and more time alone, not socializing with them anymore. That's not a crime. Of course not. Still, isn't it suspicious? Keep an eye on him. If you find something, let me know. Did you uncover any clues as to who actually freed the prisoner? No, Miss Reynolds. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, I then get out, Misty. I have work to do. Uh, good night, Miss Reynolds. In the subworlds. 
You were back quicker than expected, Alexis. Yes. Jeline was at Zagor's house. So the UOP murdered him? I don't think so, Karnak. But he's dead just the same. The body had been rotting a while. That is most unfortunate. His talents could have been valuable. Yes. Well, he chose to leave us. So he got what he deserved? No, not at all. I just mean I don't know if it, I would have convinced him to come back anyway. You sell yourself short. I don't believe so. Look at what you've done. Everybody follows you. We depend on you. And yet we're hiding in the shadows, not able to put down roots for fear of being slaughtered. Many of us live that way already. It doesn't make it right. No, it does not. We need to end the threat once, once and for all. Oh, great. Give Abby a call and put this to bed. That's... That's not a bad idea. Oh, you do know what sarcasm is. Yes, but she's the one who is attacking us, killing us. She is the one who can stop it. I thought you said she didn't murder Zagor. True, but I don't know why the ULP would return to the scene of their crime. That must have been someone else. I'm sure Zagor had many enemies. A uh, few. But Abby is the only one who can call this insanity off and give us stability again. So I'm going to demand she do so. <laughs> demand? <laughs> because it worked really well when she stood in our path. Uh, she barely held back from wiping us out then. And yet she didn't. And she didn't kill Zagor. So there might still be hope for her yet. You're crazy. Do you have any other ideas? Alexis, if you go to her, she may not let you return. She'd have to kill me. That's what I'm worried about. She won't. I know Abby. And I'm going to her nicely. Asking for terms. I'm sure we can come to some sort of arrangement. It doesn't seem likely. Likely or not, I think it's the only way. What if she asks for a too steep a price? I'm not sure there is a price too steep, Karnak. Not for this. In the after. <sighs> Tell me the truth, Rosie. That was you, wasn't it? What was me? Those two. The Texan and his wife. You purposely led me to them. All right, fine, Daniel, yes. Well, what were you thinking? I was thinking you were beating yourself up for not saving every single person who ever lived, and I wanted to prove to you that some people weren't worth saving. Hmm. That's pretty cold. Or maybe I just wanted to tell you that you can't save everyone. Saving people is literally the whole purpose of the Chosen One. Yes, it is. But even the Chosen One is going to lose sometimes. I could show you 50,000 times the Chosen One has lost someone throughout history, but it wouldn't matter. No, it wouldn't matter. You're right. Because none of them were me. Exactly. Look, no one is perfect. You know this. You don't even like most people. <sighs> that is true. Right. So unless you know everything that's going to happen before it happens, you can't prevent everything. You had no idea those twats were in danger before they died, did you? I mean, not twats a little bit harsh, but... I mean, n no. But I should... You should ha have. Really. How could you possibly... Chosen one senses, or, you know, something. That's crap, Daniel. Life is hard, even more so for someone in your position. You do your best and move on. I can't move on! Yes, you can. And until you let go of all these petty regrets, you're never going to get out of this place. Why not? Because you don't want to. You don't think you deserve to. I don't. And that's my point. No one does. But if not you, who else is going to save the world again? Novir? <laughs> you don't seriously believe that? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Then get over it. Stop obsessing over failure and do what you can now. You're right. Of course I'm right. So, are you good now? No. But I'll try to be. That's a spirit. Come on, lead us to the ultimate evil and let's get this done. In a cozy cabin near the ULP headquarters... I did a bad thing, Charlie. I don't believe it, Gresset. You could never do a bad thing. I acted most shamefully. The Gresset I know would never do something shameful. Then you do not know Gresset the Green very well. I think I do. You know, these months have been... I have betrayed my bestest friend in the entire world, Abby Reynolds! By sneaking around? I, I, I told you I'm fine with meeting her if you... No! It is not that! Though, I should tell Abby Reynolds about you. If she found out on her own, she would be most displeased. She, she wouldn't be happy for you? No, she would not. That doesn't sound like a very good best friend. It is I who was not a good best friend! 
I lied to her face. About what? I, I helped a prisoner escape death. Well, that sounds like a good thing. And, and death? I am becoming soft. I should not be soft. Crescent the Green is not soft. Well, why was Abby going to kill the prisoner? Abby did not trust the woman. That doesn't mean, that doesn't seem like enough of a reason to murder someone. It is not. That is why I let her go. She did not do anything to us, and she has promised not to tell anyone where we are. Do, do, do you think the, the, the prisoner will keep her word? Yes, I believe so. Then you did a good thing, Crescent. I did not. Abby gave an order and I disobeyed it. And then I lied about it. Oh, oh, maybe maybe you should tell her the truth. I'm sure Abby will understand why. She will not understand. Abby Reynolds would be most disappointed. She is already replacing me in so many ways. She could kick me out of the group entirely. Well, from what you've just told me, that might not be the worst thing in the world. It is. The ULP is noble. We carry on the legacy of the heroic Daniel Kravitz and stop evil. But if you stop evil, and if murdering an innocent person is evil... Yes? <laughs> Grezit, I, I, I think you may need to quit that place. Grezit the Green could never! It, it's ultimately up to you, but you should consider your options. What options? The subworlds are decimated. I cannot go back there. The ULP is all that I have. Well, don't you have other friends who've quit? Maybe one of them could use some help. Maybe. Would Grezit ever leave the ULP? Did he really betray Abby? Is there any coming back from this? Find out in another episode of Daniel Kravitz, Chosen One. It's All Been Done Radio Hour, number 462, Daniel Kravitz, Chosen One, episode 56, Turns. This episode was written by Jerome Wetzel and directed by Samantha Stark. It starred Nathan Haley as Daniel Kravitz, Wendy Parks as Abby Reynolds, Shane Stefanchek, intro only, as Rufus Reginald Rochester, Ryan Yoey as Grezet the Green, Joe Morales as Alexis Augustus Armentrout, Katie Boisenault, intro only, as Stephanie Garcia, Ashley Clemens as Rosalind Roger Rochester, Keith Jackson as Alfredo, Megan Elverholt as Jaylene Santiago, Elizabeth McElarney as Misty Tanner, Darren Esler as Carnock slash Charlie Parker. This episode was narrated by Darren Esler. Our Foley artist was Megan Overholt. Our technical director is Shane Stefanchek. Our music director is Kristen Green. Theme songs are composed by Nathan Haley with lyrics by Jerome Wetzel. This podcast was edited by Truly Awesome Productions. Be sure to check out our website at ibdpresents.com and be sure to thank us like we thank them, Boxland, our host performance space. Don't forget to support us at patreon.com forward slash IBD. A mere $5 donation gets you access to past upcoming raw audio to our monthly shows, as well as exclusive performances, bloopers, short stories. So check it out. Have a great week. It's All Been Done presents Who's Got the Time?